Welcome, Welcome to, to Impact, Impact Kids. Kids. Hey guys, and happy new year. I can't believe it's already the fourth week of January. Depending on how old you are, you might realize that at the beginning of each year, people make new goals and hopefully they make an action plan with steps on how they will achieve them. This month so far, you've heard Miss Jen, Miss Amanda, and Miss Shelby talk to all of you about the personal outward and spiritual goals that we have made. And this week, we'll talk about the goals we have for our nation. Goals of this magnitude take lots of planning and action by all of us, as they are not personal to just one of us, but everyone because it affects all of us. And we must trust God in all we do, just like when we set our personal goals. God is here to guide us through. We each have a role in the overall health and success of our homeland. Think of something that you hope for our nation as we move through today's lesson. Our memory verse this week comes from Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 5, the New International Version. Dayton, can you please recite it for us? Look at nations and watch and be utterly amazed, for I'm going to do something in your days that you would not believe even if you were told. Thank you, son. Habakkuk was a prophet who wrote the book of Habakkuk, and in chapters 1 and 2, God is speaking to him. This book has three chapters. It is the eighth of the 12 books of the Minor Prophets. A minor prophet in the Bible means that the number of chapters in the prophet's book are small. It does not mean that their contribution wasn't mighty. During these times, much like today, there was a lot going on, and Habakkuk was asking God, how long will he cry for help before God steps in to rescue them? Like the scripture says, you would not believe it if you were told. Many of us find ourselves saying this these days. If someone told us kids would be pleading for the chance to go back to school in person, I would have said they've got to be mistaken. If someone showed me a picture of Times Square on New Year's Eve 2020, I would have said it was from a movie like I Am Legend. God will use what he sees fit to do his will. It's not always a person or a nation. Sometimes it's famine or drought or disease like COVID-19, or maybe it's more than one thing at a time, but God's will shall be done and our attention will be awakened. Don't be fearful though. In Habakkuk chapter two, verse four, the B clause, he writes that the righteous shall live by his faith in God. By our faith, guys, we are saved. Keep walking with God and we'll be more than all right. So last week, I got to catch up with some impact kids and ask them something that they hope for our nation. I'm so very proud of how aware and caring our youth are. It's not all about self, but they are able to think outside of themselves and, and think of everyone around them. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Caden, and my wish for this nation is that there will be better health care so not as many people will die from corona. One thing I wish for our nation is peace and equality for everyone. Peace for our nation and everybody treated equal. Hello everyone, my name is Mason McLean, and, hit, and these are my three hopes for the world. Number one, I want the world, uh, the world to be safer. Number two, I want Trump to be fair. Number three, I want racism to end. God bless you all, and God bless you, nation. Hi, Impact. It's me, Maurice S. Porter the second, and a change that I would like to see made in this nation is world peace. I choose world peace because I feel like there's a lot of stuff going on right now and like Black Lives Matter, black people have been getting killed. So I think we should have equal rights for everybody, no matter their what they look like, the color of their skin, or how much money they have. I just want to see equal rights for everybody. 
What I want for our nation is that for everybody to be treated equally and to help our community. Thank you. The thing that I hope for our nation is sustainable peace. The thing that I want to do for the nation, I would like to end world hunger. And by that, I mean, I would like to like give food to all the homeless people in the world. Like give them like about a lifetime a pl supply of food and maybe even a whole. Wasn't that pretty awesome? Thank you for sharing your hopes, guys. To all our impact kids, this week, I want you to think about something that you hope for for our nation. In the comments below, please share your thoughts and ideas. And if you'd like to share a video, please email it to us at impactkids2020 at gmail.com. Have a blessed week. Impact Kids out!